Okay, so, um, listen, I know a lot of people are bugging out, you know what I'm saying, tripping, you know, oh my god, the Nets are up two to zero, oh my god, the NBA wants the Nets to win, oh my god, Giannis is not playing, you know, like a MVP or a former MVP, I get it, you know, the Nets took a chance, the Nets took a risk, I should say, for taking James Harden. And this is why the Nets will not win the championship this year. You cannot depend on James Harden for nothing. Now, obviously, this team doesn't revolve around James Harden. It revolves around KD. KD will take Brooklyn as far as the eye can see. You know what I'm saying? Now, obviously, the Nets, they do have a good home record and they do have a good road record. Um, so, playing on the road, playing at home, is no struggle for them, you know? Um, but, again, it's going to come down to... The Bucks. Can the Bucks even this series out? Because if the Bucks lose this game, it's over. Because no team in NBA history has come back from a zero from a zero and three deficit. Three one, okay, yes, but zero and three, no. Um. So this is a must win game, and I know the Nets, not the Nets, but I know the Bucks. Knows was at stake. They're going to win tonight. Um, there's no question about it. Because if they don't win, you can already pack the bags, right? You could bring out the mop. You could bring out the moon. You could bring out the moon, the mop, the broom, whatever you want to bring out. Because it's over. You know what I'm saying? But if they win, the series is going to get more interesting. Um, but again, why did the Nets trade half of their roster for James Harden, knowing that James Harden is a no-show in the playoffs? He's a choke artist. You know, like, I don't know what more do you want from this guy. This guy has two of the best players in the world on his team, and he's a no-show. Again. Now, obviously, hamstring injuries, okay, I, I would never discredit a player because he's injured, but we've seen this before, okay? We've seen him cramp up before in the playoffs. If this was the first time thing, I would say, okay, I'll let it slide, you know what I'm saying? But he has done this before. He's a, he's a, um, he's a repeat offender. He's done this before. So, the Brooklyn Nets made a stupid mistake, dumb mistake by trading half of their roster for James Harden. They didn't necessarily need James Harden. I mean, I'm pretty sure they could have won the championship with, K with Kyrie and KD and with the pieces that they had, or which they had, you know. But since they gave up all that for James Harden, no. I would have. Bradley Bill... Okay, if you want to throw in Bradley Bill, Bradley Bill, he'll show up in big games. I know that for a fact. He will show up in big games. But James Harden? James Harden is trying to give me a gimme. He's trying to say, you know what? I couldn't win one in Houston. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got so many good players on my squad. Or I had so many great players on my squad. It didn't pan out. It didn't work. Now let me go get a free ring in Brooklyn. I don't even got to do nothing. That's like me doing all the work and you getting all the credit. But I solved this equation, or I, or I got this answer right, or I got 16, 16 of the 21 answers right. And you, all you did was just moped around, you know? All you did was just moped around and didn't do nothing. So 
What credit does James Harden get in this series? Nothing. Not even in this series. In this playoffs. Yeah, he played against who? The Nets? I mean, the, 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 the Celtics? He barely played throughout the whole entire series. Now he's missing his second game due to, you know, an injury. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Expect the Bucks to win, and expect the Bucks to win again at home. Listen, it's not going to be easy. You know, the way that Blake Griffin is playing, like, if he just can, if, if Blake Griffin can keep up this intensity, it's going to be hard on the Bucks. But I believe the Bucks is going to show up and show out, and I don't believe that the... I don't believe that Bray Griffin is going to bring that energy every single night. He's capable of doing it, but I don't think he's going to be do. I don't think he's able to do it every single night. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, we'll see tonight. We'll see tonight. Uh, there's only two games. Um, so we'll see tonight. Um, but I believe the Nets will lose. What can I say? And for and for everybody out there that's given James Harden in the past an excuse, shame on y'all. Shame on y'all. Because y'all seen this before. He's done this way too many times before. So what's new that, I mean, like, come on, man. Like, we've seen the same dance over and over and over. He's a choke artist. He, he is who he is. There's no, you know, like, you know why the media won't bash James Harden? Because he has Batman and Robin. He has Batman and Robin to bail him out. So if the Nets do wind up winning a championship, he's not going to get the credit. He's not going to get the credit. I guarantee you he's not going to get the credit. But even if they do lose this series, watch. It's going to say, they're not going to blame James Harden. They're going to put this all in Kyrie and KD's hands. James Harden is going to be the scapegoat once again because he's just too talented of an offensive player. Like We're not going to put him on a pedestal and say, you know what, James Harden, you have robbed us too many times of your greatness. We all know what you can do in a regular season. But when it comes to the playoffs, you choke, you disappear, you don't perform. It is what it is. Maybe it was, I don't, I don't, because if you really look back at James Harden's career, he came off the bench. Like he was not even in a, he was not even in a starting lineup in OKC. He was coming off the bench. He wanted his voice to be heard. So he went to Houston. Houston gave him the city. He gave him everything. Clint Capella, Dwight Howard, um, Westbrook, CP3, Carmelo Anthony. Those are pretty good players. I guarantee you that if Iverson had those players, he would have done something with them. Just saying. But obviously, James Harden abused his power. And he got all of them traded. So, you tell me who's the bad guy. Because last time I checked, bad guys finish last, not first. So, like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other.